Look here, you park here. No, you park right there. No, it's cool, it's cool. Huh? Oh, oh well, go get something to eat, come on back. I should, I should have to uh, start working on the base then. Alright, I appreciate it, babe. Huh? Alright, alright, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. All right. Oh, come on. No, no, not you, man. I'm good, I'm good. Hootie, hootie. What you doing, man? You can't do that, bro. You can't do... Stop. You can't do that. That's not good. If people want to donate, they can donate. But don't, don't do that. That's not good. I know people love us and everything. Come on here. Come on, come on. You sit over here. I appreciate you though, boy. You know you're my boy. You my boy. All right. So today, Shadow Cock out first. First of all. Okay. Wait a minute. I got too many stuff running around here. Let me clear a path first. Shut this door. Woo. In fact, I need to open the door. Man, it's hot in here. It's about 60 something degrees today in Richmond, Virginia. Woo. Shout out to us. Shout out to Elon Obo Depot. Boy Hootie right there. All right, so, so today, uh, earlier today, I brought I brought my 69 in because um, it had some fret issues. So I had to get them knocked out. And of course, uh, if you look at some of my other videos that um, I did, I changed the 69 and put a dual concentric stack on it. All right. I, I'm sorry. You know, I felt in my spirit that I need to bring it back to where it was. So I put the original bridge back on it, the original covers back on it, the original um, control cavity back on it, and everything on the base is down. Our original, except for the strings. So let's take a look at it. All right, so this is a 1969 um, Fender Jazz. Look, I had to think about it. 1969, um... <laughs> I said 1969, um, like I had to think about it. Come over here, man. You stand over here. All right, you be good, though. All right, don't be acting up. A 1969 Fender Jazz. And, of course, you got a lot of war paint. A lot of war paint. Man, especially on the neck and stuff. Oh, she been played. This was a special gift for me. From a special person. I love that. I love you, bro. You know who I'm talking about. Anyway. So today, I got a door open and the wind is blowing. It's like almost, I told you, like 70 degrees outside. All right, so I'm coming through my, all right, first of all, I need to check and see if it's tuned. Because, you know, doing the fresh and stuff. Oh, look at that. Just a smidge. Look at, oh, look at that. Wow, that's deep. You know, the, the one thing about the old Fender Jazz is, you know, and, I, and the older guy told me this one time. He said, man, I could take my bass and throw it outside on the ground. And leave it out there half a day. Come back and get it. Still be tuned. <laughs> Look, I did like Sure. Sure you can. You know. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm being very honest, y'all. I had put this up for a while. All right? Um, you know, because I had other things I, I had to work on. And I... I pulled it out of the case and it was basically tuned. Basically tuned. I mean, this is 1969. A lot of you guys wasn't even born in 69. <laughs> Look, she's still here. So anyway, let's start with the rear pickup first. You know, and she has the, the original um, orange cube in her, the drop. It's the rear pickup, front pickup. pick up and we're on bass some people say um oh i got it on uh minus 10. i just say you got it on bass okay so we're gonna go with the rear pickup again and we're gonna put it at d10 there is no notch in the old jazz they just where they are. <laughs> I love it because it's straight all the way up the neck. Then front pickup, same thing, a D10. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, both of them at D10. I don't care how much you aggressive you are with these basses, they still talk Fender. <laughs> Look. And a lot of people don't like um, the old jazz because they don't normally play. You know, they don't play like like people want them to play like really, really low and comfortable. Some of them have chunky necks and some of them have very thin necks. This one happens to have like a C neck. This is a C neck for this one. I still like it though. Now if I pick up a new Fender Jazz, of course the neck is a lot slimmer. And on the Lakeland L, uh, L the, the Daryl Jones, they are like super thin. But me, I, I'm a naturalist. I like, I like my basses pretty much like they came. The only reason I change it is because there's some defects in it that that needs to be changed. You know, that they won't think it in that rim at that time. So, so that's where I come in. All right, so let's see. Now, I, I had a brother uh, hit me up this morning. He's like, oh, um, I got a, I got a, I got this jazz. And I know he's watching me now. I got this jazz. I think it's, he said a 77 jazz. He said, I can't get no booty out of him. Actually, they got booty. If you put it on a on a uh, in a studio, and and I think he was coming through a Mark bass. See, right now this bass sounds thin because I got it on all bass. But if I if I learn my my amp, you know, that I'm coming through, then I can I can I can finagle. That's the word I want to use. I can finagle. Look, you do what? <laughs> I can finagle, I can finagle, you know, my tone. Um, but I just love hearing what these basses sound like coming, going straight through the board. And of course, you know, I love P basses. Now, and, and that's another thing I want to talk about. This bass sounds like a P. Now, P sounds like, but here, here's the thing to my ear. If I pull my old P out and, and put and compare it against this bass, you would hear a completely different kind of beast. Like that P bass is thick, it's is gaud, it's gaudy. Gaudy is not a good word. It's thick. Got a lot of booty. <laughs> but gaudy is not bad. But you know, you want you don't want I'm not using it in a bad way. I'm using it as a really, really impressive way. You know. See, now this is this is a P bass. Yeah. Now if I turn the tone down and I pull another P out and play it with it, it would sound completely different. The other the P would have more meat. Because of the two pickups and each one of them are are definitely voice-wise got their own voice. This only has one pickup running down. Can it act like a P? Absolutely. Will it do like a P? Absolutely. Will it be as close as a, will it be accurate as a P? Absolutely uh, not. No, it won't be accurate as a P. A P is what it is. You can say what you want to. When you get a P bass in your hand and you're playing a P, the tone of that P is completely different from the tone of this jazz. There's more meat on the neck, which gives it more resonance, and then there's more thickness in the body. So that P gonna talk differently. It's gonna talk very, very, nicely rounded and and precise and <laughs> look precise you better make some words up i don't know it sounds good <laughs> but you know some people like to fill up the jazz neck like me i like to fill up the jazz neck i like peace love music man kiss smith You name it. <laughs> Look, I like a bass when you give it to me. But Fender stuff just happened to be in my hand. And because it's in my hand, of course, you know. I grew up with it, so a lot of people are like, I grew up with this bass and I grew up, okay, you grew up with that. I get it. 
I get it. You grew up with it. me. I grew up with fenders. That's, it was. It's like when a bird is born. <laughs> this this is a good analogy. When a bird is born, once he breaks the egg, the first thing he sees, you know, it could be a worm. He like. And so the first thing I saw um, in my sight was Fender. And that's what I would like. Mama! <laughs> Look. Mama! And that's, you know, so I always go back to mama. I always go back to mama. Uh, I don't care where I go, I go back to mama. So I just want to put it out there today. We're going to learn some, we're going to learn some, um, some, some good things today, y'all. I just want to throw this out. I don't want this video to be that, that long because you know who tricking and everything. But anyway, um, I'm going to uh, cut the video off right now. And I just want to say to everybody, thank you so much for, for subscribing to my video. Please keep my family in prayer. Please, please. You know, we all every family is going through something right now. So definitely keep every family in prayer. I keep saying that, y'all. I keep saying it because I want you to do it. That's what I'm saying. I keep saying it because I want you guys to do it. A lot of people are hurting right now. And so we, we need to pray for them. You know, there's things going on in every family, even mine. So I just want you to say, um, hey, bro, I just prayed for you. We good. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm going to pray for y'all soon. I cut the fake, because I soon I cut the video off. Well, he's going to start first, but I'm going to start. I'm going to end it. All right. Shut the car, guys, folks. Thanks for coming by the Hobo Depot. Peace.